almost a year now. I'm back. I haven't really made time to make YouTube videos, but I could have because it's something I really enjoy doing. And um, but you know, I didn't. So on the plus side, I did grow a lot in the past year or so. So I do have a great variety of content that I'm ready to record and upload for you guys. And I think you'll really enjoy them. Since I just completed my junior year of high school, I decided to make this video as kind of like an advice um, video for juniors coming in high school. I split this video into very two important um, aspects of advice. One is going to be academics and one is going to be social. So without further ado, let's get into the video. My first piece of advice for upcoming high school juniors is to be prepared. And when I say that, I mean like do your homework, bring a pencil, take notes in class, because if you're not going to be prepared to learn, how are you really going to learn? So your whole junior year will be a waste of time if you're not prepared to learn and you're not absorbing any of the teachings into your memory. My second piece of advice um, for academics for high school juniors is to stay after for extra help even if you don't think you need it. I know it helped me especially a lot in my chemistry class because um, I have really struggled a lot in that class and um, staying after for just homework help and to help prep for the quiz the next day really helped to refresh my memory and helped me to know what was going to be on the quiz and um, ultimately I ended up um, finishing the school year with A plus in that class. So when you put in the extra effort you'll definitely get it out. So. My third and final piece of advice for academics in junior year is to stay on top of your grades. And by that, I mean to make sure you're doing all that you can do to keep your grades as best as they can possibly be. And make sure your teachers are submitting their grades on time. Because I know I had a few teachers this year who wouldn't submit their grades when they were supposed to. They would wait until like the day before grades are due to submit them. And that really frustrated me because I wanted to make sure I did all that I can do as far as extra credit and, um, you know, fixing some of the work just so I can have the grade that I really, really strive for. So um, just make sure that you talk to your teachers and see, you know, what grade that you have in their class before <laughs> the report cards come in so you can just know where you stand in that class and if you need to um, work more on something. And if the teacher doesn't um, put in the grades on time and continues to ignore you, you might want to talk to your guidance counselor or worse to worse, you might want to talk to the principal, but I don't think it should ever get that far. The teacher should be reasonable and able to accommodate to their students if the student is showing that they want help. Junior year is one of the most important years academically, especially if you're a college-bound student. So just make sure you're keeping your grades at the best possible um, that they can be. So um, when colleges look at your junior year grades, they can say, wow, this kid really tried hard. And, um, you know, you might get accepted to the school you want to. Now it's time for social advice. So my first piece of social advice for junior year is don't be afraid to um, lose friends. And I know that sounds really negative, but um, I know especially for me, I lost a lot of friends since freshman year all the way up to junior year. And it's not because I stopped liking those friends. It's just because I grew as a person and I grew out of those friends. So it doesn't mean that you have to, like, automatically, like, hate those people. But it's good to branch off and find new people to hang out with, so. So it might be a little sad that you lose friends junior year, but you can also make friends junior year through um, joining sports and making clubs. I know for me, I um, started a Bible club in my school, and I know I talked to a lot of people that I definitely would have never talked to if I didn't start that club. So just making sure, um, so just make sure that you join clubs and get involved with people that have the same interests with you, so you can have a common ground with certain people and um, you can make new friends. So. And the last piece of social advice I have for this video is to don't be a follower. And I know you probably hear this a lot to so not follow the crowd, but it's really important that you guys should know that it's okay to be different and it's okay to follow your own path. If you see that your friends are going down a path that you don't want to go down and that you don't agree with, definitely go against the grain and do what you want to do and follow your destiny and listen to your heart and um, just do what you feel like God or whoever you believe in is telling you to do. Because um, in the long run, these little cliques that form in junior year in high school or even throughout all of high school aren't going to matter in the future. So just make sure that you're um, being intentional and finding who you are rather than letting other people define you by following them. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any requests for any other back to school videos or anything like that, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to do them. And um, yeah, so good luck in junior year or whatever grade you're going into. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! One more thing, I am going on a mission trip to Haiti this summer, and I am $600 away from reaching my um, goal to go on this trip. So if you'd be willing to donate, I'll leave the link in the um, description box below, and feel free to donate, it'll be really appreciated. Thanks!